Hey guys, Elliot Showstack here. Hope you are doing well. And the question that I will pose to you today is, should I marry him or should I marry her? So that is a very, very loaded question that people uh, who are struggling in their relationship often perseverate on right before they're about to pop the question or if the question is in the air and people know that the you know they're maybe about to get married or they think they're talking about marriage and then there is this pit in your stomach as to whether or not you should marry this guy or you should marry this girl or you should marry this person and there are so many levels of confusion that go on in a person's stomach, in a person's heart. There's like this fear sometimes that can paralyze you as to whether or not you should go ahead with this marriage or you should go ahead with this relationship. So I'll give you a, um, an example from my own life and then I will share with you what I did when I had the same um, thought, yes. So I got engaged uh, to my beautiful wife, Brooke, many years ago, and the engagement was stressful. Yes, it was stressful. And as I'm going through the, the engagement, of course, my brain was constantly shifting and am I doing the right thing? Because I had been single for 11 years and it was very difficult for me to overcome that and want to actually see if this person's for me or not. So I had this crazy pain in my neck and I went to this massage therapist or, or not massage therapist. I went to this physical therapist and he was doing these pressure points on me and he says to me while we're going, now this is the first time I saw this guy. Can't believe I'm even sharing this story because it happened so long ago. So I'm on the table and he's doing these pressure points and he's pushing up on my head in order for my, he goes, what are you stressed out about? So I said, well, I'm getting married in a few months and the engagement's pretty stressful. I didn't say I wasn't sure this or that. So his advice to me was, there are many fish in the sea, so you can get out. Okay. Now, mind you, he didn't know me at all, um, but was very quick to basically say, yeah, just get rid of it. Now, had I listened to this guy, I would not be on this video with you today, and I wouldn't be helping people get into and maintain relationships. I wouldn't be married to my beautiful wife, and I wouldn't have a family. So there would be a lot of uh, different paths that I would have taken had I listened to this person. But I wanna share with you why I was so uh, taken aback by his advice. And the reason I was taken aback by his advice is because of this sheet that I have behind me, right? So there are different aspects to relationships and different phases of relationships. And I wanna show you how the mind frame can affect every single one of these uh, phases, okay? So the example that I gave you, I was in the mind frame when I was engaged. I was very much lost in my own thoughts of how things should be and how a person's behavior should be in a relationship. And my mind was filled with judgment, okay? And since it was filled with judgment when I was engaged, I was very confused because I thought that the world and relationships itself should be a certain way. So while I was prospecting for people to marry, and while I was actually dating people, 
that's the phase that I was up to. I wasn't in the, uh, I was somewhat in the keeping phase, but this is the phase that I was up to. The dating phase, I was very much in the world of judgments. So when I have this stress in my back and I'm getting this um, you know, physical therapy from this guy who was a stranger and he asked me if I have any stress and I said, yeah, well, I'm getting engaged. So another person could have just said, oh yeah, it's stressful. And it would have been over or whatever. And, um, but he was very quick to say, there are many fish in the sea, just get out, right? Had I not gotten out of my mind, sometimes you have to get out of your mind. And had I listened to this person's advice, my whole life would have been completely screwed up, completely. So I had the wherewithal back then to understand that the mind in the way that it views the world will affect my relationships. And any time I have a conflict in my relationship now, or any time one of my clients has a concern in the program that they go through, they learn how the mind, the mind frame, will affect every single one of these phases. So I'd like to, like to um, give you an example, okay? I'm gonna wear some sunglasses now. Okay, so, Imagine that you view the world through these lenses, okay? So I want you to imagine that this is what you have on your eyeballs, okay? These glasses, they're very, very dark, extremely dark. I can barely see, okay? I don't even know who I'm talking to or what's going on. So if I view the world through these lenses, and I view the relationship world through these lenses, I view relationships very much as pain, as disappointment, and when I'm going through a decision like, should I marry this person, since my mind frame, see I can still see that, is clouded very, very much by my perceptions of the world because I look at the world, I see the divorce rates, I see all these broken relationships, I see all these things that are not working out, I'm going to definitely go ahead and make my decisions when I prospect for people, eh, he's not for me, she's not for me, or there's nobody out there for me, right, because I'm viewing the world through these lenses. When I date, I'm going to be very judgmental of them. They're judgmental of me. I can't stand this. I can't stand that. Oh, um. and then when it comes to the getting engaged or being married, your brain starts to really think, oh, my Lord, I don't want to be in this. I'm going to be stuck in this forever with this person. I meet with a lot of singles, and one of their biggest fears is that I'm going to be stuck in this relationship forever, and I don't want to be stuck. I don't want that feeling of fear. So realize that since the mind, okay, is viewing the world through these lenses, it's going to go ahead and um, perceive relationships in that regard. So every one of your decisions in each of these phases, in the prospecting, in the dating, and in the keeping, is going to be affected by that. You got it? Okay. So now, let's say, you actually, these are too, um, too great. I'm a big fan of Bono. Okay, please forgive me. And now you go through relationships and you're looking at the world through these light blue lenses. Okay, and your mind frame is one of the perspective of love where, oh man, I know that if I find the right one, everything is just going to work out perfectly because I'm just waiting for that one person, that one person who will treat me with love and respect and 
everything is, is just going to be perfect when, when I find that one. And by the way, I can't begin to tell you how many millions of people think this way about relationships, okay? So you can think about relationships with the dark lenses that the world, you know, the mind frame is that everything sucks, everything is horrible, or you view it with these lenses, which is, oh my gosh, you don't understand. I'm telling you, all I need is that one. All I need is that one person. And as soon as I get that one person, I'm telling you, life is just going to work out for me. All the reasons why it didn't work in the past is because I was with people who weren't right for me. If I get that right one, then, right? So now look at the question, should I marry this person or should I not marry this person, right? So if, if you're marrying, <laughs> if you're about to get married to someone, and you view relationships as all like negative because maybe that's what you saw with your parents or the caregivers in your life or you didn't see anything or so so your brain is is thinking that life and relationships suck and therefore if i get married it's going to suck too then that's my relationship right or you have the pressure on saying oh my gosh maybe this is the one if this is the one, I mean, I think about how many, how many thoughts are weighing on this one decision. This is a decision that can either give you a life of happiness and, and joy and meaning, or you're going to pick the wrong one and you'll die alone. So, that's a crazy amount of pressure. Even if you view it as positively, like I love relationships, I love being in love, I wanna marry this person, but are they the one? Are they the one? Okay, so crazy, crazy amount of pressure. Crazy amount of pressure. So take a look. Your mind frame is going to completely determine how you prospect for Tate's how you actually go on dates and whether or not you can keep that relationship. Okay. So to answer your question or my question that I posed of should I marry him or not? The most important answer is what is your mind frame when you make that decision? What is your mind frame when you make that decision, okay? Because if you're making your decisions out of fear and disgust and associating the world with a dark place, or you're making your decisions out of rosy colored lenses that, oh my gosh, if this person's the one I've struck gold, yeah! Then either way, you're going to wind up disappointed and somewhat screwed, okay? So that's the answer that I can give you as to whether or not you should marry this person or not. So the question that I asked is so important because this is exactly why I created this program, Find the Right One. The Find the Right One coaching program is a program that helps you see that in order for you to prospect healthy and date healthy and keep healthy, you need to understand why have all my relationships up until now failed for one reason or another? Why have they failed? Okay. So they could have failed because I associate the world with uh, relationships being shitty and filled with pain. They could have failed because I was putting so much pressure on this person to be it. Yes, yes, it's finally it, right? And what you need to understand, and the reason why I created it is that and the reason why we're seeing so much success with the clients who go through it 
is that both of those ways of viewing relationships are going to continue to get the same results for you of these fears and pandemonium as to should I, shouldn't I, uh, should I date these type of people? Should I date these type of people? Um, what should I look for? What should I look for? Or I don't know what the person means when they say this. I don't know. Am I coming off too mean? Am I coming off to this? What do they think about this? What do they think about that? Well, when I was married before, he was like this. And I have to make sure I get nothing like that. So, I mean, do you see that the thoughts that run through your brain can overpower you? So I put together this program and what I have been finding and talking to so many singles is that many of them, I would say the majority of them are coming from this place that if I only found the one, then I would be happy. And that's why they're going to continue to get the results that they continue to get. Okay. And in talking to people, they want to work directly with me, but they also want to feel like they're a part of a community, that they're a part of a group, that they're in this together with like-minded people. So I'm opening up, I'm thinking of opening up. I want to get your thoughts and I want to get your feedback. I'm thinking of opening up a small group of successful singles, if you've been single for years or if you're divorced, who want, I'm, gonna, I'm calling it, find the right one for 2020. And I want to open it up uh, November 10th, okay? Because it'll be a six-week group program where we will meet together for six weeks and we will go through step-by-step step of what it takes to have the right mind frame of why have I been failing at relationships up until now, okay? And I have to tell you, I was a therapist for 20 years, uh, not 20 years, um, about 10 years, and then I be switched to become a coach. This is not therapy. I want to get my client's results. And I was talking to someone last night, and I was telling her that five clients who've been through the program have all gotten into, not just gotten into healthy relationships, but have also maintained those relationships within less than a year, which is pretty freaking impressive, okay? And I want to work with a small group of people to get them results so that they can not only know why they were attracted to people who were not for them, but now that I get why I was attracted to this wrong type of person, how can I find and determine who is a healthy person for me while I'm prospecting for dates? Another, another person who I just spoke to yesterday said, here's what I need for you to me to do. I need you to get me 10 guys who are safe, who I know are good, good people. And I said, that's not what I do, okay? Because I'm not a matchmaker. I talk and I, I work with matchmakers and part of the program, you're gonna understand how to get different strategies to get you into that relationship. But if I was just a matchmaker and I had a group of people that I could set you up with this person and you didn't learn why you were getting into the wrong relationships that you were getting into, if you still view the world in the old way of dating, then, or even in this way of dating, you're going to get the same results that you got up until now. So, I don't do that. In fact, I don't even discuss the strategies of getting onto dates and working with matchmakers or getting into apps and, and which apps to use. I don't even discuss that until week five in the program because the first four weeks are us determining why did I get into the wrong thing? Who am I? How can I enjoy 
every moment of this process so that I don't view dating as negative or way too positive. I view it, I like Goldilocks, just right. So I'm thinking of doing this uh, group intensive, uh, find the right one for 2020. We'd start November 10th. I would give you a discounted rate, much more discounted than the regular program where you, where you jump in. And you would, because I just want you to have that awesome, loving, healthy, easygoing relationship that you desire. Okay? So I think that this is something that could benefit you. And if you're interested, all I ask is you to click like or comment here, when does it begin, and I will get in touch with you, and we can talk about it and see if it's even the right program for you. I'm just, I'm just coming up with ideas of how to get these results that we've seen. You know, I had one person go through the program, okay? Divorce guy. He started the program dating someone broke up with that person, mid uh, the third week, he begins a healthy relationship and he's still with that person for a year. Okay, and he said, you gave me the tools of to not only get into it, but also to maintain it and to choose someone who's healthy for me and, and how to live and enjoy life in every moment, okay? So the question of whether you should marry this person or whether you shouldn't marry this person, uh, don't, don't do it. No, I'm just joking. Okay. I don't know you. I don't know the, the person that you're thinking about, but what I will tell you is that it all depends on the mind frame that you're going into. Okay. And, um, if you are interested in this program, this group program, I, I would make it a six week program, almost like a boot camp, where you could meet with me in a small group. You get to meet other singles. Uh, who are going through this, this journey together to get into and maintain this healthy relationship. So please uh, comment and let me know if that's something that you're interested in. And I hope you have an awesome day. It was great, great being with you.